this is Captain Frick and his first mate Pietru. We decided to chuck everything, leave the rat race and just embark on a new adventure. And that is our new home, Sisu. One of our Yate friends, Joran, actually was so kind to show us where the market and the butcher is and even lent us his trolley. So Pietro is on her way to do some provisioning. We've had our first guests, well not our first, but we've had friends from Cape Town on board for the last two days. So we're approaching our first anchorage. So we're going to do a, a, like a seven day cruise with them and then hopefully anchor at a different spot every night. And this little spot was recommended by a Turkish lady that we became friends with, Eileen. And there is uh, like a zero, zero, zero wind. It seems like everybody's heading through that little narrow entrance there. Look how awesome! I can see from here. A cave. Yeah. But we are heading towards there. These are those um, Turkish bullets. Let's so uh, they do the mid mooring so if we just anchor in the middle of them we should be fine but they have these long anchor chains that you have to be so careful of it's a little island there you can go either side of the island small boats can big boats this was this side of the island i don't know if there's going to be any catabatic winds tonight we had one exciting night. Yes, basically one, two ships that stayed where they were anchored last night. Yes, that afternoon when we arrived, all of them had to move because the wind was blowing a lot and the anchors were dragging and even this boat in front of us, his anchor was dragging right past us that dude over there that guy was on that side and that guy there his original stayer there was two there one moved there that one is a newcomer so he came in in the night this one dragged that one moved from there to there and that one is also original anchor guy he also stayed at the same spot and then of course this big dude here he was here next door he was also on that side 
So he came and he had to reset his anger twice. <laughs> it was it was crazy. No not much sleep. We did not get sleep. But our anchor stayed nicely and it is it is firm mud. Over there is a little creek that's coming in. And if you swim here, it's just crazy. It's warm seawater and then this ice cold mountain river water. Big things. And the wind will go from 7 to 27 in seconds. It is coming down this those huge mountains. You cannot see them now, they're still behind the clouds. And it was raining, it was thunder, it was <laughs> it was it was exciting. I don't think it was fun. None of us here has fun because everyone was out later on, every boat's lights, all the lights were on. I even switched on our underwater lights. These guys had the underwater lights on. These gullets had all the lights on to make sure that everyone knows where everyone is. <laughs> it was actually quite spectacular. Everyone was awake <laughs> as well. Crazy. I think that I'm going to hiding Somewhere by a gated star Baby, they ain't never gonna find me I'm a renegade oh. I could be the one who saved you from this hard place We could be as one and we'll escape We could run away, we don't gotta stay So we found this spot at Azar. Koyo, Azar Koyo, I think. It's not on Google Maps. <laughs> so, it's only on the on an avionics charts. So we could see it on a chart plotter and also local knowledge. So local knowledge told us here is some ancient ruins from the Lycian or Lycan times. And uh, earthquake destroyed it, and the city's half, not half of the city, but much of the city sunk beneath the water. So we climb up there, it's quite high. Another treacherous dinghy docking. In the happening. The city was demolished by an earthquake and this could have been a water well. Well, 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 look what we found. Wow, here's another big hole in the ground. Looks like another well or a granary. Oh, I can read this. Yearly Gustav the Great. Yeah, it's not perfect English. You re remember, it's only when English came when the, everyone started learning English. Yeah. So this was still Afrikaans. Yes, and they were still late. Yeah, this was a lair. Why do you think they call it a lair? It's a lair plaque. Yeah. Huh, look at that. All this hidden doorways and looks so cute. And this must, must have been a little pathway. <laughs> and that could have been the city walls. Are you on your way? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
the step X, we made it! We made it! Great, we still have very high. <laughs> yeah, and This is a picture we we have this morning. So most of the city was there, and most of them is now here below the water. We're going to do some scuba diving very soon. And we are ready to go snorkeling. Everybody's getting up, oh. getting the equipment ready. Yeah, we're going to give our guest a camera too. So they can do some footage of what do you think about what's awaiting us. And see, this is and nice, see the lost city. The lost city. We're gonna find the Atlantis. Lost city. Atlantis. Oh, it's not gonna be lost anymore after no, we're done no, with it. Exactly. And Bossy, looking oh, yeah. forward. <laughs> Everybody looking super cool yeah. in their sisu wetsuits. Yeah. Woo woo! Okay, we are ready. Let's, what's, what's that thing? The urge to submerge. <laughs> I've got the urge to submerge. Let's ask. Submerge. <laughs>